What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Rebus Talk Sports. I am back again with a weekly NFL predictions video. If you're new to the channel, I provide insight and predictions for every single game, every single week, as well as identifying upsets for each game. There are six weeks left in the NFL season, and upsets are bound to happen, whether that's teams fighting for draft positions or trying to sweep into the playoffs. Week 12 did have some surprising victories, but we do bounce back into week 13. Let's start off with the Thanksgiving slate. We have the Chicago Bears versus the Detroit Lions. The Bears almost squeaked out a victory over the Minnesota Vikings, and the Detroit Lions defeated the Indianapolis Colts. NFC North games have been very, very close. None of them have gone past 14 points. They've been within 10, within a touchdown, within two points. I think this would be a very close game, but I like the Lions money line here. I do not see a way of this Bears team to beat the Lions. I understand that the Bears have looked good the past few weeks since firing Shane Waldron, but the last team in the division to the number one team in the division, I think this is more of a mismatch for the Bears. So give me the Detroit Lions money line to defeat the Chicago Bears. New York Giants versus the Dallas Cowboys. The Giants got a belt to ass by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Cowboys got a surprising victory over the Washington Commanders. Both of these teams are NFC East clowns this season. The Cowboys have yet to win a game at home. Franchise quarterback Dak Prescott is gone for the season, and the New York Giants has just pretty much been a total shit show for the whole entire season, starting from hard knocks, the ugly uniforms in week one, releasing their franchise quarterback, expecting their third string quarterback to provide some spark. Now the whole entire team has turned on their coach. The morale is pretty much shot. Do not watch this game. I really advise you guys to watch the Lions and Bears game, skip the Giants and Cowboys game, and just watch the Packers and Dolphins game. But if I were to decide between these two teams, give me the Dallas Cowboys. I understand they've yet to win a home game. As a matter of fact, they haven't won a home game in almost a year. But I'd rather choose the Cowboys than this dysfunctional Giants team right now. So i take the Cowboys between these two teams, but I won't touch this game at all. Miami Dolphins versus the Green Bay Packers. The Dolphins had a nice victory over the New England Patriots, and the Packers dismantled the injury-riddled San Francisco 49ers. This game is at Lambeau Field. I really love how hot the Miami Dolphins are looking. They're fighting for that AFC wildcard spot. They're on a nice winning streak, and they go to Lambeau to be tested by the Green Bay Packers. Give me the Green Bay Packers money line over the hot Miami Dolphins. Short week for the Miami Dolphins. They're playing. They went from playing in 80 degree weather. Now they're going to Lambeau Field where the feel like for the game time is going to be about 19 to 20 degrees. Tua Tagovailoa since joined the NFL being quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. He is 0 and 6 in games. With temperatures below 40 degrees, I think the Miami Dolphins freeze up in this game, and I think the Packers' home field advantage gets a nice victory here and stops the hot Miami Dolphins. So give me the Green Bay Packers to defeat the Miami Dolphins at Lambeau Field. Friday night game, Friday game, we have the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The Raiders lose to the Denver Broncos, and the Chiefs squeaked out a victory against the Carolina Panthers. The Raiders pretty are going to be starting Desmond Ritter in this game. Give me the Chiefs money line. Not only have the Chiefs owned the Raiders for quite some time, but for the Raiders to be down Minshew and AOC and then now go to the third string quarterback in Desmond Ritter to play against the Chiefs, don't see it happening. Do not see an upset here. Give me the Kansas City Chiefs money line over the Raiders. Seattle Seahawks versus the New York Jets. The Seahawks had a nice divisional victory over the Arizona Cardinals, and the New York Jets are coming off their bye. Give me the Seattle Seahawks money line over the New York Jets. This team is cooked. I do not know if the Jets will start Aaron Rodgers. Will they bench Aaron Rodgers? Is it Tyrod Taylor? There's a lot of unknowns for this Jets team right now. Yes, they fired their coach this season. They follow the general manager. This team is done for for the season. Give me the Seattle Seahawks money line as they push for the NFC wildcard spot and try to win the division. So give me the Seattle Seahawks. Don't really see the Jets putting up much of a fight against the Seahawks team that's trying to get into the playoffs. So give me the Seahawks money line. Houston Texans versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Houston Texans lose to the Tennessee Titans and the Jaguars are coming off their bye. Give me the Houston Texans money line. Within the last 10 games at Jacksonville, the Houston Texans are 9-1. and one. I understand that the AFC South has been quite competitive with one another. A lot of close games within their division, and I believe the Texans beat the Jaguars by, I believe, 3 or 2 last time around. But I do like the Texans to bounce back from that loss to Titans and go to Jacksonville. So give me the Houston Texans over the Jacksonville Jaguars. 
Tennessee Titans versus the Washington Commanders. The Tennessee Titans had a nice victory over the Houston Texans, and the Commanders are now on a three-game losing streak and lose to the Dallas Cowboys. This will be a very close, I believe will be a very low-scoring game. Upsets are bound to happen on a week-to-week basis. Give me the biggest upset for this weekend that I have. Give me the Titans over the Washington Commanders. The Commanders running back room is hit with the injury bug. We don't know the status of Brian Robinson. We don't know the status of Austin Eckler. And pretty much the only top playmaker that the Commanders have is Tarek McLaurin. The Tennessee Titans have a really good defense, and I think the the Titans' defense makes some key stops and helps Will Levis squeak out a victory over the Washington Commanders. I understand that the Commanders tend to win a lot of home games this season against subpar teams, but this Tennessee Titans' defense isn't like the Pittsburgh Steelers, but they're a lot healthier and better than the Dallas Cowboys. I do expect the Titans to get some key stops, and I like a shocking victory of the Titans over the Commanders. So give me the big upset, Titans over the Commanders. I do expect them to phase out Terry McLaurin and force Jaden Daniels elsewhere to win this game. Like this Titans defense to keep the Commanders from scoring a lot of points. Give me the Tennessee Titans money line, big upset. Arizona Cardinals versus the Minnesota Vikings. The Cardinals lose to the Seattle Seahawks and the Minnesota Vikings got a nice overtime win over the Chicago Bears. This will be a very close game. I think, in my opinion, this could be a potential trap game. More than 80% of the public money is on the Vikings, especially since the Cardinals lost. But let's not forget, the Cardinals were on a 3-4 game winning streak, and they lose to a divisional opponent, which does happen when divisional teams play against each other. Upsets can happen. But... I'm going to be taking the Arizona Cardinals upset over the Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings are 9-2, and two, but if you look at the last four games, they have not been impressive. Three of them were against AFC South teams and one against Chicago Bears. Within those four games, they're winning with an average margin of victory of 6.5 points. The Arizona Cardinals know that they cannot lose. Probably They could probably lose a couple, but they know that they need to get some key wins to get into to the um, NFC playoff picture. They're still in the, the, the thick of things to win the division. And the Minnesota Vikings play the Atlanta Falcons next week. And that is Kirk Cousins' homecoming game. This feels like a game where the Vikings do not pay much mind to the Cardinals and really want to focus on playing Kirk Cousins next week against the Atlanta Falcons. So potential trap game, I'll go with another upset. Give me the Arizona Cardinals over the Minnesota Vikings in a nice shocking victory. Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The Pittsburgh Steelers lose to the Cleveland Browns, and the Cincinnati Bengals are coming off their bye. Right now, the Pittsburgh Steelers are underdogs against the Cincinnati Bengals, and you you know what? I'm going to take the underdog pick again. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers underdog upset over the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals have yet to beat a team over 500, and the only team that they've beaten at home was the Las Vegas Raiders. Can't really trust that. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers to bounce back from the loss to the Browns and go into Cincinnati and defeat the Bengals. Give me the upset. Pittsburgh Steelers over the Cincinnati Bengals. LA Chargers versus the Atlanta Falcons. The Chargers are coming off their Monday night game against the Baltimore Ravens, and the Falcons are coming off their bye. This will be a very interesting game now that the Falcons are coming off their bye and maybe they can kind of get things rolling and clicking, but give me the LA Chargers money line. I've yet to see this Falcons team get a nice win over a team that has a quality defense. The Chargers have a really good defense and I really like how Justin Herbert has been playing this season, but until I see this Falcons team get a nice win over a nice quality defense, give me the LA Chargers money line to defeat the Atlanta Falcons at Atlanta. Indianapolis Colts versus the Patriots. The Colts lose to the Detroit Lions and the Patriots lose to the Miami Dolphins. Don't really have much interest in this game, but I like the Colts here. Give me the Colts money line to defeat the Patriots. Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor. I really like how this team has looked the past few weeks, I guess you could say. They mean, they did hold the Lions for a few quarters, so I really like how they've played recently. So give me the Colts over the Patriots. Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Carolina Panthers. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers embarrassed the New York Giants at MetLife Stadium, and the Carolina Panthers almost got a shocking victory over the Chiefs, but lost by a field goal. Let's talk about the Panthers for a little bit. Bryce Young has looked quite well the past few games. I know the Panthers went on a two-game winning streak and lost to the Chiefs, but this Panthers team has been battling the past few weeks, and I won't be surprised if a divisional upset can happen here. 
I don't see it. Give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers money line over the Carolina Panthers. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers really need to win this game if they not only want to win the division, but also want to finish the season on a good note and squeak into the playoff spot. I can see a potential divisional upsets. Divisional upsets do happen, and they've happened throughout the whole entire season. I can see Bryce Young having a day against his Buccaneers defense, but I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a lot of vengeance to not only win the division, but tweak into the playoffs. So give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers money line over the Carolina Panthers. LA Rams versus the New Orleans Saints. The Rams lose to the Philadelphia Eagles and the Saints are coming off their bye. Give me the LA Rams money line over the New Orleans Saints. I really like how this Rams defense has been playing besides playing against the Philadelphia Eagles. And without Marshawn Lattimore, I don't know if I have much faith in this in the Saints defense to stop Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, and Kyle Williams at the same time. I understand the Saints are on a nice winning streak, but not buying it. I know the Rams know that they have a lot to fight for to at least win the division as well. And so we get to the playoff spot. Give me the Rams money line over the New Orleans Saints. Philadelphia Eagles versus the Baltimore Ravens. The Eagles beat the LA Rams, and the Baltimore Ravens are coming off their Monday night game against the LA Chargers. This game should be at prime time. I really think this will be a very good game. Typically, when Lamar Jackson is starting for the Baltimore Ravens, two things are pretty much certain. A win over an NFC opponent and pretty much a win in prime time. But this game is not on prime time. This will be a very close game. I really hate to do this, but give me the Philadelphia Eagles upset over the Baltimore Ravens. Any other NFC team, sure, gladly take the Baltimore Ravens, but this Eagles, I feel like this Eagles team can match with the Ravens offensively and defensively, defensively. And if you're giving me the Philadelphia Eagles at underdog odds, why not pull the trigger, especially since they're on a nice winning streak, they're looking really hot. I understand that the Ravens are probably the best team that the Eagles are going to face this season, but I like the Eagles. It's kind of hard to go against this Eagles team that's very high. I understand Lamar has his number and this Ravens team has their number against the NFC, but I like the Eagles upset here at Baltimore. Give me the Eagles over the Baltimore Ravens money line. Sunday night, 49ers versus the Buffalo Bills. The 49ers lose to the Green Bay Packers and the Buffalo Bills are coming off their bye. Give me the Buffalo Bills money line over the 49ers. I know it's up in the air if Brock Purdy will come back, but this team does not look right, especially with Brandon Ayuk being out for the season. It just feels like they're missing a deep threat to really open up this offense. I like the Buffalo Bills to win at home against the 49ers, and I think they put the nail in the coffin for the 49ers season. Give me the Buffalo Bills money line. Monday Night Football, we have the Cleveland Browns versus the Denver Broncos. The Cleveland Browns are coming off their... Thursday night victory over the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Denver Broncos had a nice victory over the Las Vegas Raiders. Give me the Denver Broncos money line over the Cleveland Browns. Bo Nix has been on fire since week four. 16 touchdowns and two interceptions. He's in the running for the Rookie of the Year award. I really like how well this Broncos team has been playing. I really do think this Broncos defense can stop this Browns offense at home. And Bo Nix gets a bit cooking. I like the I like the Broncos here on a nice primetime victory over the Cleveland Browns. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your Week 13 NFL picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.